vision for Speedmaster is, uh, has always been to innovate human experiences. So our vision is to be trusted and respected for our people and our products globally. So if you ever, ever see a Speedmaster product, I want you to know that the people and the products that you are buying that, are, that stand behind that product are respected and trusted globally for whatever it may be, for the, you know, the way it's designed or the way it's developed, you know, you can trust that there's a lot, like a lot of hard work going into that product. So the vision of the company, so the vision of Speedmaster is, is to be trusted and respected for our products and our people globally. There's the three pillars that make up Speedmaster, is our people, our products and our approach. So our people, we have, we're very lucky to have the most amazing people that work here. So, you know, for example, you know, we've, we've um, got a handful of people who have won SEMA 35 under 35 awards, um, you know, people who have won top 50 e-commerce awards, you know, we've won many innovation awards for our staff. So that's our people, we've got the most amazing people that work here. We can't achieve what we do just with one or two people, it's, it is a, an amazing team effort. Our products, um, our products are award winning products, so we've won eight SEMA awards in seven years, never been done before. So our products are amazing, um, the delivery of the products. So for example, you know, not only are the products amazing, um, the packaging is catted, it's all amazing. Then the third pillar is our approach. So that's my favorite, um, which is the approach, which is, it's not just about selling car parts, it's about the way we make, manufacture them, the way we sell them, it's the way we go about doing things. So the approach is the most amazing part, which is, if you go to our website, it's seamless, it's fun, exciting, it's, it's beautiful. It's just not a crankshaft, it's the most amazing experience. If you buy a D DNA ignition, you will buy not only the ignition, but you'll have an experience. Like the box that it came in had the same engineer. The engineer that won the eight, the, the one that created a, an award-winning product, an eight-time or eight -time SEMA award-winning product, spent hours and hours designing that same box that, you know, that the product's in. So instead of him moving on to the next product to go, okay, let's make the next product, he's actually perfecting the box that you're buying it in. Like, that's, that's the DNA, that's, that's the approach. We, it's not just about the product, it's also about the approach, the fun part about what we do, which is the approach. How we chose the vehicle was a combination of things. A, I drive a V12 alloy body, Enzo tuned uh, Ferrari. And that's pretty cool, but it's not really a muscle car. It's like a V12 Ferrari. I have a Ford GT Phase 3, the ultimate Australian muscle car. Most amazing GT ever. That's like the most amazing car we've ever produced. It's like a million dollar car, and yet it doesn't turn corners. It does turn corners, but it, it's really tough to drive. It's a tough car. Then I I drive a Radical, which is the far, one of the fastest production uh, circuit track cars money can buy, and yet that's got the most amazing aero. It's got the most amazing wing. So we would our aim was to combine all these three amazing cars and try and find something that we could replicate in the muscle car market with that sort of thing. And we came up with the Shelby Daytona. Um, it's the irony of the product, or the irony of the car, is exactly that. It was designed by an American, um, Peter Brock. It was built in America, uh, built in Italy of all places. I think 20 were built and it was shipped to England and they were actually gonna scrap them in, in England. They were gonna scrap them, they were gonna put them in the ocean and Carol Shelby thought it'd be easier, just it was actually more cost effective and easier to actually bring him to America. They brought him here in 1965. They won every, like they were one of the fastest cars. They won every award and that car signified everything that we stood for, which was, you know, um, having an Italian style car with an American designer and having the handling and the drivability of a, of a Pommy car all in one American muscle car. It stood for everything that we, that, that we wanted to achieve. The engine in the iconic 
original, the first car that we're going to build, which is the, I'd like to call it the Speedmaster Blackbird, but I'm not sure if that's if the marketing team are happy with that, but I want to call it the Speedmaster Blackbird because we can talk about it another day. But the engine that, that will go in the Blackbird, I think will be the, the original 302 Windsor that you found in the original. The beauty about that is, it's just, again, it falls in line with our statement of it being exactly like what our mission statement is, being a combination of old and new technology. So we're going to put a 302 Windsor in it. We actually have a downdraft system, which is a direct replica of an IDA Weber setup but we have made that in an EFI setup. So you pop the bonnet, it'll look like the original Shelby Daytona with, with the IDA Webers, and yet it'll be an EFI setup. So that's the aim, to put a nice 302 Windsor in there, definitely, with uh, our downdraft, award-winning, SEMA award-winning downdraft system on it. Who's responsible for the build? It will be our American team. Um, our leader of operations over there, Jay, will be leading the uh, the build itself. It took a long time, took us almost 12 months to find someone who could uh, actually handle uh, the, the car build. The reason why it took so long to find someone because it involves so many team members. It involves our uh, Eric, who's the you know the, the our CMO and, and design engineer. It it, it involves uh, Ron, who's our um, you know the, the the lead of our R and D department. It involves me. Uh, I'm called the personal trainer. Apparently, uh, it involves our COO, and it involves all like the whole core team. And ironically, the only person we trusted to assemble a car was um, a gentleman who works on our race car team. Oh, okay. What's next? Well, I guess I guess I think I think someone said it to me. Uh, what's your favorite car? It's like the next one. So what's next for Speedmaster is um, yeah. There's a lot going on. So the car manufacturing is going to look to push about 10 to 15 cars a year, all one-off cars, amazing cars. Then we're going to move towards building a electric version, which we've got a patent 2,000 horsepower electric engine to go in one of these cars. And then moving on from that, we're going to kind of start working towards autonom uh, autonomous driving, so having autonomous vehicles, because um, we want to show that our innovation is limitless. We rub shoulders against people like GM and Ford and upstage them all the time. Now it's time we kind of rub shoulders with people like Tesla and show them up a little bit as well. So that's definitely next. And then moving on from that, um, our aim has always been to innovate human experiences. So what the, what does that mean, innovating human experiences? I know it sounds like real flashy and, you know, whatever. It's, it's just pretty simple. It's having an experience that's fun. So if you get in a Shelby Daytona, uh, that we built, you're going to love it. It's going to be awesome. If you get in a electric Shelby Daytona that Speedmaster built, it's going to be fun and awesome. The next step is to build flying cars, um, turning a Shelby Daytona into a flying drone. That's innovating human experiences. One vision that I've had is I've got a friend um, that we that works with us, and he's responsible for building the Burj Dubai. Uh, he's just built the, and he's now building the largest uh, hotel in Dubai at the moment. And can you imagine if we were to kind of coexist and kind of work on a way where one of our cars would fly in the top of the hotel or the fly in the top of the Burj Dubai and he kind of comes in and people enter the building from the top and fly into their apartment. I don't know. It's just about innovating human experiences, having an amazing time. There's something like that, I think, definitely. So, yeah. Cool.